Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nikki and yeah, uh, let's just uh, get right into it. So the reason why I'm making this video today is because I've been on a health journey um, and I call it a journey because it is a journey and everybody's journey is different and everybody, what they do, look it looks different to everybody. So it's not a destination, it's not a timeline, it's a journey. And sometimes journeys have, you know, downfalls and sometimes journeys have yeah. step back and, and that, that's gonna happen on my journey and that's inevitable. Um, but I just came to talk about the first month. So basically, um, I guess what started this whole health kick is for those of you who have followed me for a while, um, I've always really been into fitness. I've played hockey my whole life, been very sporty, but I've never really seen a big change in my body from just working out. And Went to the gym when they were open, you know, four or five times a week, sometimes three, depending on the week. Um, and then on the weekends, I would party it up with my friends, drink, eat like shit, and be hungover all weekend, every weekend. And, you know, it was, it's good. You know, I'm not saying like I regret any decisions that I made. Absolutely not. And, you know, that's not to say that when quarantine's over, I'm not going to have one of those weekends again, because absolutely I probably will. Um, but I'm just saying what kind of led me up to like a lot of thinking and, you know, being in quarantine and being alone in your own thoughts. And, you know, I was like, what can I do to really push myself and, um, do something for me and I always was like I don't believe in goals and you know they never work and I was always so like hard on myself and everybody around me when they set goals and I was like oh it's not gonna work it's just like a right now thing and I really had to change my mindset around what a goal looks like and what you have to put aside in order to reach your goals it all really started one night, which I'm sure you guys are all aware of, when I got on my Instagram live and I got absolutely belligerated. Um, I think I had like 12 white claws. It was a nightmare. Um, I didn't wake up the next day until 3 p.m. Like, and I'm talking, slept right through. Like, I woke up confused being like, what time is it? What day is it? I have the biggest headache of my life. And that headache lasted for three days. I, uh, I woke up to many messages from my friends being like, yo, are you fucking good? Like, what's going on? And, you know, I had a couple thoughts running through my head. Uh, my first thought was, what? I'm just being Nikki. Like, I'm just being fun. Like, what's wrong with that? That was my first thought. My second thought was, why are all my friends so concerned about me? And my third thought was, I kind of regret doing that. And all those thoughts were running through my head at the exact same time. And I didn't know what to do. I was extremely hungover. I had wasted my day away. Um, I felt so sick to the point where I literally almost puked. And like I said, that lasted for three days. So in saying all that, that definitely jump-started me. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, Nikki, you are a wonderful person, yes. Just because you got drunk doesn't make you a bad person, no. Just because of what you did on Instagram Live does not make you a bad person. But you are 24 years old and you need to fucking start making some goals for yourself. That doesn't include getting fucking belligerent and, you know, doing whatever you did. And it took me some adjusting, a couple days to think about, you know, what I had done and it was a lot of self-reflection and like, is this really who I am? Um, then there was like, is, is my job right for me? Do I really love my job? And then I was like, you know what? You're a fucking kick-ass chick. Just because like, you are a wonderful human being. Let's see what we can do with yourself. Like let's, let's fucking amp up the game here boys. And let's, let's get down to business. Cause I've always been healthy. Um, I've played sports my whole life. I've been active and the only thing that's really stopped me is eating and drinking. And those are the two things that I can only think of that I'm like, fuck, I work out so much. Like for those of you who have followed me, like knows I work out a lot. 
and I was just getting really frustrated that I wasn't making any progress. Not that I didn't like my body, let's not get it twisted. I really always was very confident in my body. I love my body, I love everything about it. And so it wasn't a matter of me being unhappy with my self image, it was behind the self image and it was more about my lifestyle changes and who I want to be and who I want to become and it was really just the, the bigger questions in life and once again I want to go back to saying that I haven't drank in for since that night and um I'm not ta like one sip of alcohol and so I think it's almost been like yeah, about a month and a half I, I can't remember the exact day that it was however I don't miss it um I don't miss the hangovers and <laughs> To be honest with you, I'm scared to drink again just because of that hangover. When I don't drink, I feel extremely productive the next day. I get really, really, really bad anxiety when I have hangovers. Something that a lot of people don't know is that my vertigo is like 10 times worse the day after drinking. So I can't like go on long walks. I can't run. I can't work out because my like equilibrium is so off. And so half the time, the reason why I, I just start drinking again, because it's like, it helps my hangover, it helps my anxiety, and it helps my vertigo. So it's just like a vicious cycle thing. So for two weeks, I was like, you know what, I'm not drinking. And I felt like better. I didn't feel great. But then I was working out and I was like, yo, Nikki, like, you really need to like, do something else to amp up your game. Why don't you go on like a health kick or like a diet and see where that takes you? And that was very fucking scary to me because comfort, food is comfort to me. I eat donuts, muffins, pizza, you fucking name it. I love junk food. That's always been my, ever since I was a kid, junk food was my shit. Now I've always like worked out so much that it kind of like didn't off balance, but it still like isn't healthy for you. So basically, uh, Tammy Hembro has an app and I went on her app and it's about, I think, $22 a month and it has all of the recipes, everything, um, the grocery list, the things that you need for the week. And it's um, an eight week meal program. And so I'm following it week by week. Currently, right now, I'm starting uh, today's Sunday. I'm currently starting my fifth week and I made a goal to do it for one month. And that goal was very scary to me. I keep in mind the day I found out, I was like, I want to go on this diet. I ran upstairs and I told my mom and I was so excited. And she was like, huh, yeah, right. You're not even going to last a week. Phoned up my brother. And I was like, yo, Derek, I'm, I'm going to go on the diet." He's like, ha ha Yeah, right. You love your sweets way too much. And I just like that motivated me. And I was like, yo, fuck this. Like, and they weren't saying it in a rude way, saying like they don't believe in me. Like I could never do it. But I had never done something like this before. So, you know, I made a deal with my mom. If I could last one week, then she would cook my meals the following Monday. All of them. All three. Because I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she was like, okay. So the week came and I did the week and I felt great. I think I lost like uh, three, three pounds in the first week or four pounds, which was incredible. And yeah, I was just, that inspired me to keep going, to see, see the, seeing the changes in my body inspired me to keep going. All the feedback from people inspired me to keep going. And I'm just, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling energetic. I'm feeling healthy. Um, I still have my vertigo, which like, I obviously knew that wasn't gonna go away. So some days are harder than others, like especially when I'm working out and when I wanna go for my runs. Um, but honestly, I feel fantastic. And it all started with me looking myself in the mirror being like, you need to figure out what you want. And you are 24 years old, which is young, but you know, you can't continue to live your life getting drunk every single weekend, three times a weekend. Um, keep in mind, you know, alcoholism runs in my family. And I just, there was just a lot of thoughts going through my head. So that's basically what kickstarted it. And the first week was the absolute hardest, 150%. And I think that's with anything that you do in life. Whenever you change something, the first week is always going to be the hardest, the first month, whatever it is. 
um and then i'm sure there's like there's been days where i'm like fuck 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 i really wish i could just have something sweet but on the app she does have sweet brownies um blueberry oat muffins a couple of other treats that are like healthy so i do have those um and yeah i'll get into more of like what i eat later in the video i hope this video is not too long but there's obviously a lot i wanted to say and a lot of people had questions um but yeah i'm not like starving myself um i always make sure that i'm content like i'm never hungry um obviously i always have room in my belly for more food but i never have that feeling of like feeling extremely full or feeling like sick after i eat something and i don't miss that like i honestly don't so you know those are a couple things that i just wanted to say and that's not to say once again that once quarantine's done and all my friends are going out that i'm not going to go out and get hammered again like i definitely will um just not as much and definitely being more conscious and self-aware of the reasons why i'm getting drunk or what i'm doing what i'm drinking and don't get me wrong i'm a fun fucking girl you ask my friends anybody that knows me i'm fun i'm rowdy i love to have a good time but i can do that without alcohol and all like most of my friends do drink um but i don't feel uncomfortable being around them not having a drink so i know for me it's definitely going to be a big change but i just don't want to drink as much as i have been drinking um but yeah um that's just a little bit about the background of it so what i typically eat is like i said she had i'm filming with my phone once again you guys know i don't really have a vlogging camera or else i would show you guys but i could take the bio and you guys should check it out honestly if you are a beginner when it comes to diets or workouts it's a really really good app obviously right now you, people are feeling overwhelmed with all the free online you know workouts and everything there's so many influencers but just go with what feels right for you i love tammy hembro not only because of her fitness just because of who she is and what she stands for um and so i thought i would support her not like you know so yeah um the app is great i eat breakfast lunch dinner and then i don't eat past eight o'clock so for breakfast like it's usually like an egg white with spinach onions or you know some eggs and some whole grain toast or oats, um, lots of fruit in the breakfast, um, quinoa sometimes for breakfast. Like there is so much options for breakfast. Lunch is usually like leftovers from dinner or sometimes it's a new thing, um, but there's a lot of spinach involved in this. Um, there's a lot of broccoli, cauliflower, uh, ground lean meat. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just, it's been awesome. Like uh, the meals are really, really wonderful. And I've tried a lot of food and guys, this is gonna be shocking, but my parents used to cook me every single meal. And now I'm cooking three meals by myself. I buy my own groceries, I do everything. It's so rewarding to know that you can provide for yourself, you can cook for yourself, and you feel good doing it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I eat. I don't have like any sweets, like I haven't had chips, donuts, nothing. I haven't even had like an ice cap. Um, the one thing I do have in the morning is coffee. I have stevia in my coffee instead of sugar. Um, I still use a little bit of cream, but it's just like those adjustments. And I feel the healthy treats that she has really work for me. Um, but yeah, I don't pe eat past eight o'clock and I just strictly drink water. I haven't had pop, no juice, nothing like that. No alcohol. So that's what I've been doing. And when, when I started, this is how much I weighed. I weighed 168, 168 pounds. I'll try and find a picture that I could put up here. Now, a month later, I lost 14 pounds and I now weigh 150. So, I feel good. Some days are hard, but that's just a reminder to keep going. Everybody's warm comments on my body and how hard I've been working and like that motivates me so freaking much. And you guys have no idea how much it means to me when you guys reach out to me and tell me how good I look or, 
you know, that they see uh, changes in my body. Because I'm looking at myself every day. Sometimes I don't see the changes in my body and I'm like, fuck, I feel so bloated today. Like, I just can't fucking do this. Like, may as well just eat a donut because nobody can tell anyway. And so that's been very hard for me. Um, not every day is hard, but busy days are easier. When I'm bored, it gets a lot harder. Uh, rainy days are a lot harder. I feel like I want to eat more sweets and stuff. When I'm on my period and when I'm PMSing, makes it a lot harder. But I do know that I can have the healthy treats. Um, so that really helps. So I put on a different top so that I can kind of show you guys the changes in my body. Um, bear with my ring light here. Um, the height is just too difficult to adjust. So these shorts used to be really big, um, tight on me. Like they always fit. But now they just fit so much better. Um, and yeah, like I'm going to do another video. So it'll be interesting to look back at this one. But, you know, I'm really enjoying the results. Here's kind of more um, the bottoms. Like so. These jeans are at Goldie. And this top is from Aritzia. But yeah, honestly guys, like I'm not where I wanna be and that's why I call it a journey. I'm extremely proud of myself for how far I've come. Extremely proud of my body and extremely, I'm just feeling like proud of myself. And that's a feeling that builds self-confidence, that builds self-love and builds self-respect. And when you put your mind to something and you achieve that, you are unstoppable because at that point you can do anything. And this has taught me more than anything that if you put your mind to something, you can do it. Coming from me who used to drink every single weekend, even during the week I would drink, eat like shit. And I know it's only been a month, but I'm just so excited to keep going. And I don't know, I just, I find it, you know, very rewarding. And I think that's my biggest motivator is just seeing the rewards and feeling good in my own body. And that is just a type of love that you get for yourself that doesn't matter what people say about you or what people think about you, you know deep down that you're doing everything that you can for yourself and it doesn't matter what people think about you. So at the end of the day, you need to do what makes you happy. If that's drinking every weekend and being with your friends, I was there at one point. And I'm not saying I'm never gonna go back to that. I just really wanna like emphasize that and make that clear because this is not me saying, I'm giving up partying, I'm giving up everything, I'm not doing anything to do with anything and you know, I'm giving up my life. That's not what this is about. This is to start me off and get me where I wanna be so that I can enjoy those things maybe a little while later. But yeah, do whatever makes you happy. Seriously, just find something that makes you happy. Pick a goal, go after it. Because once you achieve those goals, man, it's, it's, there's no better feeling. So I hope that answered mostly people's questions, but that's how my first month has been. Um, there's definitely been down days, definitely been good days. And if it wasn't for my friends and my family supporting me and pushing me, it would be a lot harder. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for being lovely and wonderful. You guys are beautiful exactly how you are. Um, this is not me making a video saying, get on a diet, change your lifestyle, because that might not be what works for you right now. And I'm just sharing my story in hopes to inspire people, to motivate people, to do whatever they need to do to be happy. And that's all I wanna say. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you like this, put a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.